Thank you. You may be seated. Welcome. You know, I think I've been here a month now, and every week there has been a wreck on I-95. It seems like one of those things. Okay, state call your next witness, please. State recall of Ryan Ford. For the record, the witness has been previously sworn. He's still under oath. <clears throat> Thank you. Good morning, Investigator Ford. Good morning. Yesterday when we were talking to you about um, the cell phone records of Louis Toledo and when the last GPS tracking data for his phone was um, reported, you, you were struggling between 528 and 628, as I recall. Correct. Okay. Did you have an opportunity to review those records overnight? Yes, sir. And um, I'm going to show you what's been marked, uh, State's Exhibit 128, as it relates to um, the complete cellular records of this device, okay? Yes, sir. Not just the, the summary chart, but the actual cellular records. You recognize uh, this item, sir, on the screen? Yes, sir. Okay, and what do you recognize this to be? Uh, the, the GPS coordinates or the, the Latin longs for, the, uh, for Mr. Toledo's cell phone. Is that one of the columns, latitude and longitude? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, and I think they're columns I and J on this chart, is that correct? Yes, they are. Okay, now tell us what that's the latitude and longitude of. It's the actual the GPS coordinates that the phone provides to the, uh, the tower to, to locate the phone. Okay, so this is the actual geolocation uh, device or data for Mr. Toledo's device. For that, for yes, sir. Okay. It, how is this chart summarized? Is it is it chronologically according to time and date? Yes, sir. By date and time. Okay. And are the last are the last registries the most recent registries in time? That is correct. Okay, so if we scroll to the bottom, we'll, we should see the very last time that this cell phone reached out and grabbed a tower. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm turning your attention to the, the very last line of the spreadsheet, and I'm asking you to look at column C, uh, which is the third column from the left. Can you tell us, please, what the date and time is on that entry? Uh, October 22nd, 2013 at uh, 6.28 p.m. And is that the last time that Louis Toledo's phone actually made contact with any form of the cellular network or tower? That's correct. And are the GPS coordinates there, uh, as we discussed, close to Miss uh, Felicia Perez's house? That's correct. After seeing these records, are you satisfied that the, the last time was 628 rather than 528? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. No further questions, Judge. All right, thank you. Any cross? Uh, is he subject to being recalled? No. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, maybe by the time. Okay, but are you going to be cross examination at this time? No okay, thank you. All right, speak to the next witness. They call, excuse me, the state call Sabrina Newell. yours can hear what you have to say. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Would you please introduce yourself to the jury? My name is Sabrina Newell. And Ms. Newell, where do you live? I live in Sanford, Florida. 
And uh, uh, who lives there with you? Myself, my other half, my three children. Okay. And one of your children is Cassandra. Cassandra Gomez. Gomez, who we heard from yesterday, correct? Yes. All right. Uh, how are you employed? I'm a stay-at-home mom right now. Um, I want to take you back to um, October 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, did you know an individual by the name of Yesenia Suarez? Yes. And did you know uh, Luis Toledo? Yes. And did you know Talia and Michael Elijah Otto? Yes. How did you know them? Um, they were very good friends of mine. Right. Beyond friends, like family. Yes, sir. All right, you were saying that you knew uh, Yesenia Suarez and Luis Toledo and the children. Yes. Um, talk to us a little bit about your relationship uh, with Yesenia Suarez. Uh, she was my best friend. All right. How long have you known her? Since 2002, 2003. How did you meet her? Um, I was working at a restaurant and she was my hostess. And what did you do at the restaurant? I was a server. And, and um, I met her one night when she first got on. And um, I was like, hey, you want to hang out after work? And ever since then, we were like inseparable. What restaurant was it? That it was Chevy's in Altamont Springs, Florida. And you said that was in 2000? 2002, 2003. And so you, you two of you sort of hit it off immediately. Automatic. And you were inseparable. Yes. Um, how would you describe um, your relationship from that point forward? Um, like a sister, like a younger sister. Uh, what were some of the kind of things you did together? We did everything, shopping, eating, just hanging out, doing facials, straightening hair, cutting hair, um, going, going out, just being young. How often would you do things together? Almost every day. <laughs> Uh, did you have any children at the time? No. And uh, what about Yesenia? No. Um, at some point during your relationship with um, Yesenia, did that did that close relationship change? Um. You, like, yeah. Did it change for the worse? I mean, did, um, we had falling a, out? we had a little separation um, due to other people's um, ignorance, I guess you could say. Um, and um, we just had a breakup, basically. Hmm. I, you, the only way I could explain it. Um, but I never forgot about her. I, you know, and I actually ended up running into her sister in December of 2012, I think it was. Um, and that's when I we encountered with Jasenia at Burlington at the Seminole Town Center Mall. Um, and the next day she came to my house and it was like we never, nothing ever happened. Like I opened my door and we just hugged and we picked up where we left off. I ended up meeting Louis Toledo um, that following week and we hung out at my house and we had a bonfire and we just, you know, got to know each other again and from there on it was just always on the phone, texting, or, you know, me going over her house, her coming over mine, us meeting up at the restaurant and to eat and just to socialize and now, kids were always together playing. We would go to the library, we would go um, to the Tilly's uh, cheerleading practices, um, her game. Let me um, kind of walk back World. just a little bit. Um, oh, quantity, as, sorry. You talked about your children, and of course we know um, Yesenia had children. At what point in your relationship did you and Yesenia begin to have children? Um, I want to say it was 2004 is when I had my son, and then right after she ended up having Talia as well. We both got pregnant at the same time, kind of just that best friend thing. You just you right. follow along, you know, the same path. And so did that begin to happen prior to you guys having the falling out? No, that was after. Um, me and her had a falling out years later after the kids were, I want to say, like four, four years old or so. Okay, so. Five years old. So you begin to have children, and then at some point thereafter is when you kind of had the falling out mm -hmm. for a little bit of time, and then you guys got back together. Yes. Um, at what point did you meet uh, Luis Toledo? I met Luis. Um, I actually saw him when she actually met him 
um, at a festival that we had went to. Okay. Um, there was an altercation that had occurred. Let me just, let me stop you there about that. Um, did, did you know him though at that particular point? No, no, I met him when he had came to my house with her and the kids. Okay. And was it shortly thereafter that you and Yasini had the falling out? Um, I met, I'm sorry, so I'm just gonna rewind. I met Lewis after our falling out when we were when we reunited. Okay. You saw him though before. I saw him before. And then you but you met him sort of officially after you and Yesenia yes. rekindled your relationship. Yes. And at that point were they married? Yes. Now, um, tell me a little bit about, I know you said that you, you, when you, you and Yesenia sort of rekindled your relationship, you described it as you picked up sort of where you left off. It was like you were never apart from each mm -hmm. other. Um, talk to us a little bit about your relationship with Yesenia from that moment forward. It, it was, like I said, um, it was basically where we, you know, we were inseparable again. You know, we hung out all the time. She would text me, we would call. You know, she invited me to certain things like Thalia's um, cheerleading events. Um, we were just always together. I don't know how to explain it other than we were inseparable. How often would you guys get together and do All things? the time. All the uh, time. Like how many times per week? I would see her more than, more than three times a week. And you, you talked about um, you had Talia and her cheerleading practice. So mm -hmm. That was something that you guys did together? Yes. And do you recall um, what time of the year was it um, that y y Talia would have the, the cheerleading practice? Um, I want to say it was September, around September time. Okay. And you recall how often um, Talia oh, would have these practices? Once or twice a week. And Yasini would go to these? Yes. We would meet up. She would be working and we would meet up there because I live close by to the Seminole High School. so. She'd be like, hey, I'm gonna be up here. You wanna come hang out? I'm like, yeah, you know? Anything to anything to be with her and the kids. I was just happy to be back in her life again. And, and would Luis Toledo be there as well? Yes. Um, talk to us a little bit about um, your observations. Because um, you said that you and Yasini were inseparable. You hung out a lot, mm -hmm. three or four times a week. Um, do you have opportunities um, to uh, make observations of her relationship with Luis Toledo during the time during that time? Yes. How would you describe their relationship? It was a, a relationship. Um, I don't want to say it was fairy tale. You know, it was um, they've had bump ins and they're both headstrong people. Um, they had issues like every other relationship. Um, would you, um, were you aware, did you, did you witness arguments um, between not, the two of them? Not in the beginning, towards, towards the end. Okay, well talk to us a little bit about that. When did you begin to see, um, we actually witnessed them um, arguments and stuff? In like towards September, October. Toward the end when she disappeared? Yes. Um, what were these arguments about? Um, just things of him not um, keeping up with the house, um, not doing his part. Um, what was um, Yesenia, what was she doing at the time in terms of work, school? Work in school. Okay. And um, also taking care you know, of things with the kids. Okay. And what was Luis Toledo doing at the time? I, to my knowledge, he was just a stay-home dad. Okay, he, did, he was not working at all? No. Um, were you aware that he went to school? Uh, he didn't start school till later on. Okay. And so um, I want to I want to talk to you a little bit about, or have you talked to us a little bit about, sort of um, the kind of the roles that they were playing at the time. Um, did, was it your observation um, that during this period of time that, you know, Yesenia was sort of this... Um, person who, you know, demanded that, you know, that, that Luis Toledo sort of serve her and the children sort of, sort of in that role? Oh, overall. No, um, I, I didn't see it like that. Um, like I said, I'm a stay home mom as well. And when you're in a relationship, you have certain things 
that you guys pull together to make a family. And to me, it was more of that was his job, needless to say, is to, you know, take care of home. You know, you're not doing anything. You're not going to school, not working. You know, you put your part in, you know. My husband, he works all day, all night to support a family. I make sure he has a clean house, clean clothes, dinner cooked. And, you know, my kid's homework is done. I'm not leaving that for him to do, okay. you know. So your observations of their relationship was sort of the flip side. Yes. Where Yesenia was working, going to school. Luis Toledo was not. And so she had some expectations of him concerning the house, the children, and sort of helping her pull the weight mm -hmm. in their marriage. Yes. Uh, were there arguments that you observed concerning um, um, the children's homework, their grades, um, him playing video games, things of that nature? Yeah. Can you talk um, to us a little bit about that? Just, she would just be upset, like, you know, why, is, why isn't their homework done? Or, you know, why, hasn't, why is their laundry sitting here? Like, what have you been doing all day, playing these video games? And, you know, she, she, would, she would let him know about himself. But, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, tell men and, hey, you know, what's going on, you right. know? I mean, I have slack days, I know, you know, but at the same time, it, if it continues too much, you know, you need to be told something. There toward the end, um, it, were there opportunities you had where, and I don't want to get into the content of the conversation, but were there opportunities where uh, Yesenia confided in you um, her feelings about her relationship with the defendant? Yes, in October, um, we had went to get my daughter a homecoming dress in Orlando. And um, okay, and again, I don't want to get into the content. Okay, sorry, yes, they'll, they'll yes, she did. There. She did tell me she was unhappy. Okay. So she was not happy. Yes. And that was an observation that you made of her demeanor yes. during that particular time, that she was not happy with her relationship with Luis Toledo. Yes. Do you recall um, Yesenia going on a business trip um, um, right before her disappearance? Yes. To Alabama? Yes. And uh, did you recall um, hearing and uh, learning that her and her children were missing on October the 23rd of 2013? Yes. Now, um, when you heard about that, did you, um, what did you do? Um, actually, that morning, um, her mother Felicia called me, um, asking if she, if I knew where her whereabouts, or if she was with me and the kids. And I let her know, no, they weren't. And um, she, she got upset, and she's like, I know something happened, Sabrina. And I says, What's going okay, on? Okay, let me. I'll stop you there. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about. Um, Sort of why she called you, and you were you were Yesenia's best friend, right? Mm -hmm. um, did you have a relationship with Yesenia where if um, if there was something wrong, some some kind of trouble in her life, that she could come to you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And um, did you have the type of relationship that um, if that was what was going on in her life, that she could come and stay with you? Yes. And, you know, and, and did she have the type of relationship with her family that she wouldn't leave without telling somebody? Yes. Overall. Now, when you went over to um, Yesenia's house mm -hmm. that she shared with the defendant, um, did you actually see Luis Toledo that I morning? did. And just to clarify for the record, you went there that morning, correct? Yes, I did. And you saw him there? Yes, I did. Um, did at some point in time he try to talk to you in some way? Yes, he did. And were you able to determine exactly what he was trying to say to you? I was not able to speak to him. Now, after all of that occurred, um, did you did you come to learn that there had been some items that had been found um, in relation to the investigation yes. to their disappearance that you recognized? Yes, I did. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? You may. While we're getting those photographs, I'll ask you a few other questions, and we'll come back to that. Um, 
we were talking about um, the defendant's efforts to um, talk to you on, on the morning of October the 23rd of 2013. Was there a time, specifically May the 2nd of 2015, um, that the defendant actually called you on the phone? Yes. Uh, called you from the Volusia County Jail? Yes. Were you expecting a call from him? Um, I, not really, no. So you were surprised by the call? Yes. Um, have you had an opportunity to uh, listen to that call? Yes. And um, and you understand it was recorded, is that Yes. May I approach the witness, Sean? You may. Showing you the mark for identification purposes is taken to the 61 and 62. Do you recognize these items? Yes, I do. And you recognize these as the recording um, of the phone call that you were just referencing? Yes. And other than some redactions that some were made, there's a fair and accurate a recording of the phone call that you've had with the defendant on May the 2nd of 2015? Yes. And with regard to State Exhibit 62, um, is that a transcript of that phone call? Yes, it is. And is it a fair and accurate a transcript of the report? Yes, it is. We need to wait one moment, please. Please. Where did Adrian go? We have to wait till she comes back. Uh, yeah. Court exhibit is just for ID uh -huh. only, correct? All right. Um, before I ask yeah, the item will be admitted into evidence. I'm sorry, I should have said that on the record. That's uh, the ID only is a transcript of uh, same procedure. Same instructions that I've given you before. The recording is the evidence, not the transcript. If there's any conflict between the two, what you hear is what's the evidence, not not the uh, transcript. Okay. And these have been redacted, just so you know. Before I ask to publish that, I want to return to my previous question about um, you had said that, um, that you had um, learned that there had been some items that had been recovered um, that you and you recognize those items. Is that correct? Yes. And you were you were shown some photographs uh, of those items and, and again recognize them. Yes. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? You may. May I ask the witness to stand down, Your Honor? All right, counsel, feel free to move out. I understand that there's some signs of all this. I remember to see what we're looking at. I want to show you specifically, or refer you specifically, to the, um, the photograph here in the middle of this exhibit. Um, do you recognize items that, are, that um, are in that photograph? What is it you recognize in that photograph? Do you recall approximately how um, how long in advance you had learned for that air master? And anything else that you recognize in the photograph? And how did, how did you recognize that? Mm -hmm. That is how? Anything else that you recognize in the photograph? Um, 
You recall um, about how long um, before um, all of this happened that you had seen these items in the home? Um, well, in With regard to the air mattress, um, um, did you have an expectation that that would be returned to you? Yes. Okay, you didn't give it to her, you loaned it to her. I loaned it to her, yeah. Because she didn't want to sleep like on the floor uncomfortably. So I was like, hey, I have one you can borrow. Okay. And you said that this was for a camping trip? Yes. Um, and uh, this is a camping trip that she intended to go on? With, her, with the church, yes. And what about the children? The children, of course, yeah. It was for the children. They had, like, on Saturdays, because they're Sabbath, so they go to church on Saturdays. Um, Felicia would take them a lot, and they were in this, uh, like, a kid academy. Um, I don't exactly remember the name of it, to be honest. Um, but it was an outing, that, like a field trip for the church that they were all going on as a camping trip with all the children and parents. And would this be something that Yesenia did uh, often with the children? Um, I mean, to my knowledge, she always did things with the kids, yes. Now, with regard to um, the phone call, Your Honor, may I now publish um, State's Exhibit 33? You may do so. If we can distribute the uh, transcripts. Thank you. May I proceed, Your Honor? You may do so. Hello, this is a free call from... It's me, Lou. ...an inmate at the Volusia County Division of Corrections. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press Two, if you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this, but thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. It's on 125. Hello? Hello? Holy shit. How are you doing? I'm doing. My heart is like, just dropped to my stomach. Yeah. You know, and that's not what I, I don't want you to think that, because you know I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but yeah, you know, I just... You know, a lot of y'all, you know, I, I, I can't add you, I, 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 I can add you on my list, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, I can come in and put you on there, I just don't, um, uh, I just, get, get, oh, hold on, let me see, I got it here, it's, um, um, S B R. I mean, S A B R I N A N E W. No, I, I mean, like I said, I was, like, that day, you know, of course, you know, has, has, made all of us, you know, crazy in the head, you know? Um and I, I've 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 always I always like I everything just it 
it was like yesterday. Like I like you know what I mean. I I see it like if it was just yesterday. You know, in my head. You know, you standing in the doorway trying to give me the you know the phone number so you can talk to me, and I'm like, damn, like what was it that you needed to tell me? Like what what you know? And I I always question that. I'm like. What the heck, you know? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, I'll tell you, I can't, I can't tell you on the phone, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, I just want to tell you on the phone. Yeah. But, but you know, this is just one of the real quick questions, you know, that just came to my mind I wanted to ask you, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I know you always been, you know, you always been a real person, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I've, yeah. never, I've never been able to conversate with any of your second friends like the way I conversated with you, you know? Right, we were always, we were always, all three of us were all open. Yeah, you know? Yeah, you know. So, like, I know that, you know, she was close to you, and, you know, she always told me that you was her best friend, you know what I'm saying? But I just mm -hmm. wanted to ask you, did you know what she was doing, Sabrina? Did you know about that? Or that was a surprise to you, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a support. What, what I told you, what I told you that day in the house, that I left before. I've left two times. You know what I'm saying? And she always come looking back for me. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. I'm, I was like. I left before. You know what I'm saying? And 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 the thing is that you know, also, like like I like like when me and her talked. You know what I'm saying? The night, the all the, the night that everything happened, we talked. You know what I'm saying? We talked at her mom's house. You know what I'm saying? We talked and everything. Right. And I told her I said, "You're saying if 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 you wanted to." To, to sit here and, 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 and sleep with this guy, you know what I'm saying? You should have just been honest with me. If you wanted to go out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and then she was just like, oh, he just really got to my head. He really got to my head. You know what I'm saying? But now, you know, now that, you know, all this stuff, like, you know, when, uh, like in my reports, I'm getting his side of the story. You know, from what I'm getting from his side of the story, that she was the aggressive one towards him. When, when and when, when Sabrina, way before, way before you even came back in the picture, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, like this was like fine. Like me and her were fine. We were happy. You know, so everything was going on. From 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 the time that he came to her job, right? That was like way in like uh, like January or March, February or March, right? Me, me, her, me, him, his wife, and um, her, 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 um, her, her, her other coworker and his wife. We all went out. You know what I'm saying? So we all went. Was this? Out. Wait, 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 wait. Was this when you guys came to the restaurant? The dude that came to you, the restaurant. The black dude. Because I don't, I don't even know what he looks like. He, I'm not gonna even lie. I don't even know what this cat looks okay. like. Like if he was standing in front of me, I don't remember. Okay. It was it was like I was looking at habaneros and you guys had came in and you guys were having like a date night and you guys were supposed to be going somewhere else or some like party or I don't I don't recall to be honest. I just remember you guys coming in to habaneros with another couple, a tall skinny black guy. Uh, tall black dude. Yeah, he was skinny, and then uh, um, a Spanish girl was yeah. was with him. Plus his wife, yeah, and his name was Kevin. That was his name. He worked with him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But now check this out, right? So his wife, his wife even told him, oh, I don't trust that girl. She looks like she's the type that she'll try you. Because what happened was she texted him, right, and she told him something, and then when she texted him, she put a little smiley face on it at the end of the text. You know how you can send those little smiley faces? Mm -hmm. so his wife tells him, I'm reading all the reports, and his wife telling him, why did she send you a smiley face? Like, like why she got to do all that? If you're talking, if you're, if you're talking about professional stuff, why she got to be all like, you know, so she didn't like it. So I'm wondering why you're saying I tell me, like, after we all went out, everything was nice. Like, we were all cool, and then, like, like that night, that night we all go to take pictures, and his wife, you know, she sits off professionally, crosses her legs, and then Mario's wife sits off professionally, crosses her legs. You're saying I want to get doggy style and fucking pop, stick her ass out. So, like, I'm like, damn, you're saying, like, take the picture straight, like, you know what I'm saying? But she wants to get wild and shit, so, so, um... So, um, so he even said it himself. He's like, you know, Yesenia was a real wild girl. You know, she was a real wild girl. And this is what he says. So he says that in his report that she tells him, hey, um, I'm going to Atlanta with you. You think you can handle that, me going with you? So he already knew he was going to hit that. You know what I'm saying? He, was really, he already knew he was going to hit that. And the thing was that she was sending texts. The way what happened was um, 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 they were, they were, when, she, when she got his number or whatever and all this and that at the job, she told him, she said, listen, um, if I text you, if I text you a pound, that means that you can call me or we can talk back and forth. If I text you a star, that means you can't because my husband's around. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, 
But this is way before our problems even started, Sabrina. She was already like into this dude way before this shit started. You understand what I'm saying? So it had nothing to do that I was doing anything wrong, Sabrina. I was always home. I was always home, Sabrina. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going out. You know, Come on now. Come on now. Because she would tell me that she would wake up in the middle of the night and your car would not be there. That you would be out. Sabrina. And there was times Sabrina. that she was like, Sabrina, you know, she did, she questioned. Sabrina, she questioned. Is, let me tell you, Sabrina, listen, that is a fucking lie. If my car would not have been there, you're saying how would have been fucking flipping. Flipping. That's why you sometimes, yeah, that's okay. why you sometimes you wouldn't park it in the garage so yeah. then it would be easier for you that to is, roll out. No, that is a lie. That my car, let me tell you something. The only times my car was never parked in the garage, okay, the only time my car was never parked in the garage was because when I was doing the construction on the outside of the house. All the materials, the table saw and everything was all on my side of the garage. You know what I'm saying? My car was always parked in the garage whenever, um, um, whenever, whenever, um, 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 whenever that stuff wasn't in there. You know what I'm saying? That is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That is her lies. Okay, to sugarcoat. Yo, she denied it, Sabrina. I had, after, after, after she told me everything, yeah, she confessed to me the truth and everything, she was still denying it to her mother. She was lying. I was like, no, mama, I didn't do anything. That's because she didn't, she didn't want to look bad to nobody. She didn't want to, she didn't want that picture to nobody. So she told me, you know what I'm saying? She's like, listen, you know what I'm saying? She's like, mm -hmm. she's like, she's like, you know, um, this is the deal. She's like, you know, um, I won't, I won't. She goes, I won't, she goes, I won't do anything. You know what I'm saying? She goes, you know, you can, she goes, you know, we can get back together and everything, but you got to promise me you can't tell nobody. And I was like, uh -huh. I was like, probably ain't going to tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? She was like, she was like, it's out of that. You know what I'm saying? Or, or nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, See, 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 there's a lot of shit that I gotta explain to you that you don't know. You see, you know shit, you don't know shit that's behind the tape, but this is, I got, I got all the, I got all the evidence and all the proof. You know what I'm saying? All that shit about me sneaking out, that's a fucking lie. You know what I'm saying? That is bullshit lie there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't sneaking out anywhere. And any time, and any time that I ever went somewhere, she knew. The only time that I ever went out was to the Mayweather fight. You know what I'm saying? The Mayweather fight. I went to the Mayweather fight, and then the only time that I ever went out alone was with was, was with that shit with Tony when we went to the arena. You know what I'm saying? But listen, you know, you, you know, Sabrina, this 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 is a lot of shit you don't know. That's that's the reason why you remember that time we was playing that song for you. And you was like, oh, I don't like that shit about fucking this girl creeping with the next girl's man and everything. You don't remember that? Mm -hmm. You don't remember mm -hmm. that? You, you got upset about that? Yeah. When we left, she was like, damn, she got real dramatic on that situation. I was like, yeah, because because uh, because I think she was right. She was like, oh, well, I don't feel that way. You know what I'm saying? She didn't feel that way because that's what she was doing. She was creeping with this the whole time, Sabrina. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this, 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 this dude even said it. Like, I, I got all his reports. He said she would stay after work. Him and her, they would go here, they would go there. You know what I'm saying? They would do this, they would do that. The whole entire time. You know what I'm saying? What happened was she, she had no plans. See, the problem was she had no plans on 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 sitting here and leaving. Hey, listen, right, listen I'm not going to keep jumping. I'm going to just check you step by step real quick. Check this out. Okay, this is this, this this is basically how the situation played out, right? You feel what I'm saying? I started noticing a lot of different things about him. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, you know how I do all the laundry, Sabrina. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I know how your senior wears. She used to like to wear comfortable drawers to work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Every morning, every morning when she goes to work, you know what I'm saying? Like, I take out her clothes and shit, and you know what I'm saying? I put them, like, on top of the counter and shit, right? So, like, I know that she always likes to wear a certain set of underwear for work. So I would take out the underwears and I would put them on the counter. So when I go to do laundry on a Friday, I'm noticing that all her cotton panties are not used. It's all her fucking satin and fucking silk drawers. So I'm like, what the fuck's going on? You know what I'm saying? So I'm noticing that she's constantly, like, throwing fibulous attitudes for nothing for nothing mm -hmm. she's doing attitudes for nothing so then one day she tells me she's like oh i'm going to happy hour with my co-workers i said are you asking me or are you telling me she's like oh i need to go i was like well so you telling me that i'm sitting here i'm sitting at cheerleader practice with your daughter you know what i'm saying like, yeah i was like all right so that's how it was she was allowed to do whatever she wanted to do and i couldn't do shit. You know what I'm saying? She can go to lunch. She can go to lunch with all these dudes, and I couldn't go to. I, I couldn't go to lunch with nobody. 
You know what I'm saying? I had to call on all my lunch breaks when I was working. You know what I'm saying? But she would go to lunch and she wouldn't give me a phone call. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm sitting here and I'm just like, hold on, something's going on. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So, so, so when she goes, when she goes to that trip, right? When she goes to that trip, all of a sudden, she sends me a text from the trip stating, oh, I want a divorce. So I told her, I said, all right, cool. I said, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? So then I told her, I called her and I said, hey, listen, um, I said, I believe that I, I, I deserve more than just I want a divorce over a text message. You know what I'm saying? I deserve a sit down and talk, an explanation of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, ain't nothing going on. I see you saying, listen, if it's somebody else and another dude has your attention, just tell me, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you want your space, I'll leave you for a while. And if you want me to come back, then whatever. If you want to go out and have fun with another dude, you think the grass is green on the other side, eventually you're going to realize it's not. I told her that. I said, eventually you're going to realize the grass is not green on the other side. You know what I'm saying? She said, no, 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 it ain't no other dude. I swear to my kids, it ain't no other dude. I said, all right, no problem. So, boom. So, when she comes back, she goes in the shower. I have bought the thing, so I downloaded the thing on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All the text messages came in. Everything that she's been talking to the dude the whole entire time, all through the trip and everything, they all come in. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm at work that day, and um, she sits here, and she, um, she sends him a text message. She goes, hey, you know what I'm saying? And then he goes, hey. She goes, um, um, are we still on for this afternoon? And he goes, oh, can we move it? Can we move it to Saturday? You know what I'm saying? Can we move it to Saturday? And then um, she goes, um, she goes, oh, I don't know. It's kind of hard because I ain't got a babysitter, but I'll find one. You know what I'm saying? So he goes, all right. So boom. So then she goes, she texts him back and she goes, hey, um, I've been thinking long and hard. Um, um, I can't, I can't keep sneaking around like this no more. You know what I'm saying? She goes, I've been thinking about this long and hard. I can't keep sneaking around like this no more. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And then um, he goes, he goes, all right. You know what I'm saying? She goes, well, let's just, let's just keep it friends how we were. Let's keep it professional. Um, no, no weird feelings. He goes, all right. Thank you. So and then boom, she gets the alert back. She paid for the hotel that day. So that they were supposed to go meet and that when she was gonna she was gonna bring out of you the kids or her mother the kids and she was gonna make y'all think that she was at school. She was gonna be at a hotel with him. She wasn't gonna go to school. She was gonna be at the hotel with him. You know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what? I said, fuck that. I'm just gonna con I'm, I'm, I'm gonna confront this. You know what I'm saying? Forget forget holding it in. You know what I'm saying? Because my whole option was I was just gonna hold it in. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was gonna wait till I graduated school. You know what I'm saying? And then when I finished graduating school, I was just gonna one day she was gonna come home and I was gonna be gone. I was gonna pack all my shit and leave. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I went, I went and I confronted her and I told her and I was like, yo, uh, that's your question. Are you been cheating on me? She's like, no. I said, I swear to me, the kids ain't been cheating on me. She's like, I swear to you. So I showed her the phone. So when I showed her the phone, she started like, like crying and shaking. She's like, let's go outside and talk. So we go outside and talk. And she's like, I'm sorry, it was a mistake, I was drunk, you know what I'm saying? I was like, it was a mistake. I said, yeah. I said, so you telling me renting this hotel this afternoon was a mistake too? She's like, no, 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 we was just going to go talk. I said, go talk, really, at a hotel? Let me tell you, you want to go talk, you go to a park. You go to a hotel, you go to fuck. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm not stupid, you said, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, somehow, please, I fucking love you. I told you, I told him it was over with. You know what I'm saying? Please, you know what I'm saying? I want to work things out. I was like, listen, man, I'm done, man. I'm leaving, so I left. So she's jumping on me at the job, dragging me like I'm fucking trying to get a leave. And she's like, please, send my talk to me. I don't want to talk to you, so I left. So she's sending me text messages, please, you know what I'm saying? Don't do nothing stupid. Please, I'll find another job so you can trust me again. You know, all this and that, you know what I'm saying? That she wants to be with me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I said, I, whatever, so I left. So I called him, right? And he's denying it. He's like, nah, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, I said, I said, I said bro, she already told me the truth. He's like, well, then you come up here and you, um, and you, um, and you confront her in front of me and see what she said. So I guess during the, he was, he was, he was sitting, he was, she was sitting in the office with him when he was talking to me on the phone. So when I got there, I guess him, they already had planned, they already had planned to deny it. You know what I'm saying? So when I got there, she comes downstairs and she's like, oh, I lied. I only said that because I want you out of my life. 
I said, really? You only lied? Really? So what's all of these text messages I got? She's like, oh, I, I already knew you had the phone tap, so I sent that on purpose. I said, come on, bullshit, man. What you mean to tell me you rented a hotel and you did all this fucking for fake shit? You know what I'm saying? So I told her, I said, listen, I said, listen, man, you got an option. I said, you guys got an option right now. Tell me the truth right now in my face. Tell me this shit's over with. You know what I'm saying? And we can work this shit on from here. Or I'm going to go in there and I'm going to tell your boss what the fuck y'all was doing on a company dollar, on a company trip, having an effect. You've been fucking renting hotels with company money and all this shit all that and doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew all her bosses and shit. So they're like, no, 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 man. I'm telling you, it's just professional. So I said, all right. So I went in there. So I go and they buzz me and I go on her job and shit, right? So I'm looking for her boss. I can't get her boss. I go down to the thing, right? And she goes, tell my leave. I'm not leaving nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So I walked away and then her, their bosses came out and everything. Else. So I told her boss what happened. And then I left the job. So the deal was, right, that, so when she goes to her mother, I call her mother, I told her mother everything that was going on. So her mother said, come over here and talk. So when I go to her mother's house, right, she has, she goes to her mother's job, her mother's house, and we go to talking. So in the garage, when me and her mother was talking, she was telling her mom, no, it's not true. And then when her mother would go inside, she was like, stop telling my mother, you know how my mother is, my mother's gonna, you know how my mother's gonna get on my ass. I was like, well, I won't tell her that. And then, you know what I'm saying, let's just, let's just finish talking. So we finished talking, we came to the green and everything, you know what I'm saying? We, I was like, well, listen, man, that's fine. I'll go my way, you saying, yeah? You know what I'm saying? I'll go home tonight, I'll pack up my stuff, and I'll leave. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she's like, uh, no, 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 you ain't got to leave that fast. Just take your time, you know what I'm saying? I was like, no, nah, I'm leaving. So, boom, so I went to the house, I started packing up all my stuff. You know what I'm saying? She was going to stay at her mother's house that night. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm packing up my stuff or whatever. She shows up with the kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when she told to the kids, I'm like, what are you doing here? She's like, oh, I came to talk to you. I said, talk to me. We were really talking. She's like, somebody, please, I want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? She's like, I've been thinking long and hard. I know I fucked up. We really need to talk. She said, but just help me with the kids first. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I dealt with the kids because, you know, I'm the only one I could control them. I dealt with the kids. You know, I I took them. You know what I'm saying? I put them to bed and everything, all this and that. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we, 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 we I gave them some ice cream and stuff. You know what I'm saying? After that, you know, I put them to bed and, you know, she went and, you know, she went into the room. And, you know what I'm saying, we started talking. And when we started talking, that's when she protected me and everything. She's like, you know, it was my bad. You know, I just, you know, she told me shit. She goes, you know, he kind of got to my head. And, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to lie to you, semi. Like, you know, all this working, all this working and all this school is just giving me frustration. I just needed some excitement in my life. I said, well, damn, yo, if you wanted that excitement like that, you say, I like, you know what I'm saying, why get married? Why get married? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she's like, she, she, she's like, no, I'm like, you know, I love you to death, man. Like, I married you, and, you know what I'm saying, I'm really thinking long and hard, and I made a mistake, and I just want to work things out. You know what I'm saying? I really want to fix things. You know what I'm saying? This was her telling me, Sabrina. You know what I'm saying? I already have my shit packed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, listen, man, like, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know if I can, if I can, if I can, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, take you back like this, you know what I'm saying, because, because this, 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 this dude is going to still be in your head, you know what I'm saying, I said, I said, the only way he ain't going to be in your head is if his wife knows, so, if you want me to, if you want me to get back with you, if you want me to stay, his wife needs to know. If his mm -hmm. wife knows, that ends the affair because now he's worried about fixing his marriage. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And he's no longer he's no longer focusing on you. Now he's focusing on fixing his marriage. You know? So she's like, I don't know. She's just really embarrassing. I don't want nobody from my job to know. That's what the thing she did. It was embarrassing to her. You know what I'm saying? It was exposing her. And she's like, I'm not like that. You know, I'm not like that. You know. You know that that that's not my style of life, but it's, you know, it, but you know that that's irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? But it was just, you know, it's it, it's just basically, you know, a lot of shit that is behind the red tape that nobody knows. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now, like the night that everything, you know, went down, did she just like snap at you and you snap back or like? Uh, Sabrina, listen, this is this. You know what I'm saying? What I'm gonna tell you is that you know the way the way everything happened after we was talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know why, Sabrina? Because she was. 
they didn't contact for this dude. They were talking every day. They would spend time. She would tell me, hey, I got to stay work at least today. She, she would have told me that, though. Rina, like, I mean, it was that long of a time. Like, the, guy, the guy, listen, the guy admitted it. I got all his paperwork, Sabrina. The guy even said it. The guy even said it. The I mean, but it still doesn't justify what happened to them. And You know what I'm no, saying? I say, no, you don't know what happened. You don't know what happened, so I can't, I can't talk about what happened right there. Right yeah, there. I know, I know, know, I know, I know, because it's, yeah. You know what I'm You're saying? Right. You don't know what happened. I, obviously, yeah, obviously, know. I don't know anything that's really happened because the stuff that you're telling me, I mean, she's never, you know what I'm saying? Well, listen, Sabrina, listen, I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to sit here and, 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 and trash your thing. That's not what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? What I want you to understand is that she's done a lot of things where she would never tell people about. You understand what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. unless, and unless you catch her, it's the only way she's going to be honest about it. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everybody, hey, listen, everybody, everybody in their life has skeletons in their closets. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of things that I explained to her. And this is one of the big reasons why she came to love me, Sabrina, because I accepted everything about her. You know what I'm saying? I accepted the package, the whole entire package with the kids. When I met her, bro, she was $5,000 in debt of her fucking credit card. You know what I'm saying? You know? You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I'm going to tell you like this, yo. You know what I'm saying? I was doing my thing when she met me. You know what I'm saying? I was doing yeah. my thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, and, 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 and that's the shit, you know, when I got with her, you know what I'm saying, her credit card, her credit card bill went away, you know what I'm saying, eventually the, the, the car got paid off, you know what I'm saying, we eventually moved to Sanford, I got a fucking, she got me a job at Chick-fil-A because she didn't want to sell sneakers no more, but I already had money stacked up, you know what I'm saying, so you know what I'm saying, I, I was working at Chick-fil-A and then, you know, eventually I was like, yo, listen, let's buy the house, you know what I'm saying, we bought the house, you know what I'm saying, oh, there's a lot of things people don't know, Sabrina, a lot of things yeah. that people don't know is behind the black tape that her mother doesn't know, you know what I'm saying, you know, but her mother's like, oh, well, you came in a relationship with nothing. And I said, yeah? So you did a lot of shit you don't know. And that's why she knew a divorce was going to be ugly. Because a divorce was going to be that I was going to show all the proof of all this money that I had that went into mm -hmm. her accounts. You know what I'm saying? That I never spent. That I never wasted. I was working. You know what I'm saying? You know what? She was always buying clothes, always buying shoes. But I just said, no. Oh, why you think? Why you think? Why you think she always called me when when she, when she sold two, three pairs of shoes? She like, hey, what do you think? What did I use to tell her? Get both of them. You know what I'm saying? You know? Come on, man. There's a lot, a lot of things. A lot of things people don't know about Sabrina. You know what I'm saying? But it, it had nothing to do. This relationship had nothing to do with with nothing with um with that. I was doing wrong. It was it was that she had she had she had a way she. I guess for the first time she saw this motherfucker, she had it for him. That's basically what it was. You know what I'm saying? She liked him. She was attracted to him. You know what I'm saying? You sitting here fucking getting into her head, acting like you want to be with her, and then once, once, once you smash, you don't even text her no more. That's the reason why she had to text her. Oh, hello to you too. And that's all he wanted. He got what he wanted. She, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I guess she realized that. So then what? That morning, that morning, Sabrina, she comes to me in the bathroom, right? Because that morning, I had took off my wedding ring. And I was gonna put it. I was gonna put it on her nightstand that morning. Cause when she goes get her phone, she sees it. She comes to me that morning. She goes, "Look, I'm wearing my wedding ring again." I goes, "Okay, then what? What about it?" She goes, "I'm just wearing it again." I was like, "All right." You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I guess she already had made the plans to go meet him with the hotel. And I guess that hotel was gonna be the last goodbye. I guess she was gonna do whatever she's gonna do with him in the hotel, and that was gonna be the last goodbye. You know what I'm saying? But she knew. She never had no plans to leave me. Her plan was to do what she was going to do, get away with it, keep it quiet, and then keep on a relationship with me. But I caught it. You know what I'm saying? I caught it. I exposed it. And then it turned into all this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, that night, Sabrina, when the shit blew up, I told her straight up, I said, yo, I am leaving. You know what I'm saying? I am gone. I am done with you. You know what I'm saying? And she was just like, no. Please, please, you can't do this. Crying, everything. Begging me. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I was just like, but then I was like, I was like, then why you sitting here fucking, you know, making me, you lying to everybody, making me look like I'm a fucking psycho or crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know? She's like, no, I just, it's just, I just don't want nobody to know. It's, in my, it's embarrassing. It's my job. I said, well, you should have fucking thought about it then before you, before you was fucking this dude. If your job and everything, your reputation was so important, then why the fuck do you do it? 
Now you did what you did. Now you got to pay the consequences for it. It needs to be out. You know what I'm saying? Or his wife needs to know. If everybody your job, I go to your job and say that it was a lie. But his wife needs to know. Because he's going to be sitting here smiling around, you know, sneaking that he got away with it. And he's going to continue to be in your fucking, behind your ass. You know what I'm saying? I said, so, you know, but it wasn't, you know, it was just, it was just a lot of shit, man. You know, it was a lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that night, you know, when I came back home, then I told her, I was like, you know what, they fucked that day. You and him deserve each other, and I left. When I came back home that night, you know what I'm saying? That's when I came in with Ty, with Ty Sean. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. she's like, yo, you, she's like, y'all need to get the fuck out, so I'm not going anywhere. So we started getting into an argument. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really an argument. It was just like, you know, she got all loud and shit. And I'm like, yo, chill, calm down your voice, man. You know what I'm saying? Why is you yelling? You know, the kids are sleeping. You're going to wake the kids up. She's like, well, you need to get the fuck out. I was like, yo, you acting like a real, you know, she hates that word. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's like, well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a good. I said, yeah, good. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, yeah, I'm such a good hoe. That's why she said some, some shit like, oh, that's why I fuck. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And you know, and you know, she don't do that. She don't like to do that. You know what I'm saying? I said, I said, yeah. And you said, I said, well, yeah. Well, you remember when you was in Alabama, that Nani came over here? Remember, yeah? I said, yeah. Well, that's why tastes like Skittles. <clears throat> that set her off the roof. That's when she started coming at me, attacking me. You know what I'm saying? And then when she was attacking me, you know what I'm saying? And she, she kept attacking me. I was like, yo, stop fucking hitting me. Yo, I'll leave. She's like, no, I'm going to kill your fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? She just kept hitting me. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when, you know what I'm saying, I pushed her off, off me, hit her off me, and then that's what happened. Everything else happened from there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, I, I can't keep talking about because I'm already, yeah. I'm already yeah. talking too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you know, that's you know that, that's basically what set her off to attack me. You know what I'm saying? Because she's going to see me and say some shit like that, so I said some shit back to her. You know? You know, because, you know, it, it was bullshit. You know, I don't give a fuck, man, what anybody say. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was too good of an, I was too good of an, I was always home, always taking care, always taking care of the kids. You know what I'm saying? All that bullshit, yo, that she was talking, whatever, to anybody, that's bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows I had no friends. My friends were her friends. You know what I'm saying? What friends did I have besides little Danny? What friends did you ever see, Sabrina, that were hanging out with me besides Danny that comes from New York? You ever seen me with anybody? Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? My whole life evolved around her and the kids. My whole entire life. My whole entire life was around her and the kids. I didn't have no life outside of her and the kids. You know what I'm saying? I was going to school. And then what? I would have to stay behind and clean up. She was always calling me. Where you at? Where you at? Always calling me. Like, no matter what I had to do, she would check. She would check. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what she's about. Okay, go clean up all those toys. Put all those toys away. That's what I'm doing. Sabrina, all that shit about me sneaking up, that's a lie. Because she always checked my gas gauge. You hear me? My gas mm-hmm. gauge, she always knew how many miles I had. You feel what I'm saying? And every day when she came home, she would open up the Saturn and she would look at the miles. You hear me? I'm like, how the hell did she have all that time to do that shit? Like looking up under your ass when she was in full time in school and full time working, like in my kids. Sabrina. Like, I just. Sabrina, she only went to school, she only, she wasn't full-time school, she was part-time in school, and she only went to school two days out of the week. You know what I'm saying? She only went to school two days out of the week. It ain't like she went to school every day after work. No. She went to work, and then she was then, remember, she had off, whenever it was off. You know what I'm saying? She had her summers off. You know what I'm saying? But she only went to school two days a week. The most she went three. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't that she never had no time. She had a lot of time to do everything. And and and, and some days that when she had school, she wasn't going to school. She was meeting up with him. You know what I'm saying? Because he even said it. You know what I'm saying? She would go down. She would go down. I was wondering why. I was wondering why she was telling me, man, why the fuck my boss? Why am I? She's out. I was telling her, yo, you know, what's this relationship with you and your boss that you that you get so mad at your boss? No, because Cynthia's always like, where's your senior? Where's your senior? Where's your senior? She's always calling, looking for me. Right? So that's what your senior used to tell me at the house. Oh, I'm tired of her always calling, looking for me. So as I'm reading this guy's report, he's saying, well, you know, she will always come down to my office every day and we would spend time in my office and shit. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yes. You don't believe me? I was sending you the reports. I mean, I got nothing to lie to you. I mean, I just, I just, I just, I'm just like, my jaw drops because, you know, she's never said any of that stuff to me. I've 
always portrayed the image. That's what it was, always protecting that image that she was Miss Goody Goody Girl. You know, I would give I would give I would oh, give her the benefit of the doubt. Yes, she was a hard worker. You know what I'm saying? She was a hard worker. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she had ways that a lot of people didn't know about. And so in some ways that surprised me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that surprised me. You know, I would have never thought, you know what I'm saying, because I always thought I see you saying you know, yo, you don't have to, if you ever decide to cheat on me, leave me first before you cheat on me. I used to tell her that all the time. You know what I'm saying? I said, because I married you, and, I, and you know, but you know, Sabrina, you know what I mean? Oh, man, I don't, I don't. You know, it's a lot of more. It's a lot of more things I, I really, I really want to tell you, man. A lot of things. One thing, listen. One thing. One thing I do want to tell you, and I really want you to know right now, is that things are not what they seem right now. You understand what they say? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Things are not what they seem right now. Believe me. I'm telling you like this. Whatever, whatever you heard on the news, whatever you read on the newspaper, whatever, believe very, very little of what you read in here. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And again, you know, things are not what they seem right now. You know, all I can say that you know, it's a lot of things that you don't know. It's a lot of things that you know I, I can't tell you right now. A lot of things that I really would love to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, some things will put you know big smiles on your face and maybe it might not you know what i'm saying but i can't i can't tell you right now you know what i'm saying i can't i can't talk about it you know gotcha. uh, it's just you know things things are not really what they seem you know, they really not what they seem there's a lot of big a lot of big a lot of big things and it's, and it's not that easy for me you know i think about it every day you know what i'm saying and you know you know you know you know when we sat down, when we sat down on the outside of your house, you know what I'm saying? And like we talked that day, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I told you, I told you how I felt about you saying, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I told you that, and I ain't, I ain't never talked to nobody like that, you know? But uh, I don't know, man. And, and I don't know, yo, and I don't know, I, I, I don't know, listen, I don't know, and, and, and I don't know what y'all were talking about that day. You know, I remember, remember that day y'all was gone? Remember that mm -hmm. I was at your house? I was at your house. In the house when we were gone. I couldn't even tell you. I don't even remember. I I mean, I just know that I always I always talk to her about, you know, like I said, like I told you the night that you were all flipping out at the house. And I was like, you know, the devil's a liar. He doesn't want to see marriages together. You know what I'm saying? He's going to, you know. You put things in your head, you know, just you guys have to, you know, calm down. And remember, do you remember me kind of telling you those things? And, uh, I mean, you're pacing back and forth, you know. And that's why, I mean, I even was like, you know, Jesse, you know, my stomach's not feeling well. I don't want to go out. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I, I, I'm not going to stir the pot. You know what I'm saying? That's not, my, that's not my character. And I'll never be like that, you know. I mean... I, I know I know being in a relationship is tough. Any kind of relationship. Work yeah. relationships and everything. You know? You know so that's you know what's you know what's so crazy? That after oh after I went through text messages that night she texted him. You remember that night that, that happened that she wanted to go out and shit? Yeah. She texted him and asked him, Can he get away tonight? And he said yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the reason why she was acting all crazy like that. See, she would go, she would fight with me to try to get away. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing anything. When you came, when, when you came to the house, what, what was I doing when you came to the house? Um, I'm not mistaken, you're playing your no, 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 before, video game. No, I didn't start playing the game until after. When you came to the house, I was cleaning, remember? Oh, yeah, because you're like, yo, what are you guys doing here? Yeah. Like, I, was, I didn't know you guys were coming. I was, I was, I was doing, I was doing, I was doing, I was doing, no, I was doing, I was doing the showers. You know what I'm saying? I was doing yeah. the I was cleaning. You know what I'm saying? I was rubbing up the showers, and I, and I was cleaning the house. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah. and then, right, you know what I'm saying? I went into the room and started playing the game. See, she was, she was, she was already, she was already, like, had an attitude with me that day for no reason. I'm going to tell you what happened. The reason why I was pissed off and I was cleaning, and I was cleaning the house and I wasn't talking to her, because you came, that happened on a Friday, remember that? Yeah. 
Well, that, that Thursday, that Thursday, she had went to happy hour. That was Thursday she had went to happy hour with him and all of that and her co-workers. Mm. And I was pissed off. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't talk to her. I didn't talk to her the next day either. So I just started cleaning the house. I didn't want to have anything to say to her because I'm sitting here at cheerleading. I got a headache. I tell you, I got a bad ass headache. And I'm sitting out here cheerleading with Talia. And you're going to go out to happy hour? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had a bad ass headache. So, so I'm sitting here, and, and I went ahead and I said, you know what, fuck that. So I didn't say nothing to her. So I was cleaning the house, and I, and I know, and I know, and I know, and I know, and I know how mad she gets when I play the game. So I just went ahead and I just started playing the game. I said, okay, I don't understand. Yeah. So she, so she, so she gonna sit here, so she gonna sit here, and um, so I'm, I'm going out. I said, yeah, well, who's gonna babysit the kids? You know what I'm saying? I'm, mm -hmm. see, I, I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and be to the kids while you gonna go out. And I'm glad I didn't, because she probably would've went, you know what I'm saying, did her thing that night with the two. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. while, I'm sitting, while I'm sitting here at home watching her kids, she's sitting there with her legs spread open. You know? Nah, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah, but, um, well, um, I don't know. I don't even know what to say right now. Like, it's just, because I, I mean, you left me surprised, really and truthfully. So, yeah. I mean, I would have no idea what to even say on that behalf. Just that it's crazy. All of this crazy nonsense, no fucking. The, the the way I think that I knew I, I feel about her, obviously. And I've been friends with her for ever. I know, I know, I know. I mean, trust me, there's a lot, there's a lot of things. This is a lot of things that it's a lot of things that when, when you first started coming around, she told me, "Yo, don't talk about this, this, this around Sabrina because she doesn't know about this, 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 this." You know, I know a lot of shit. You know. You know, there's it, it, a lot of things that you don't know, you know what I'm saying, and I want you to, want you to tell this right now, do not listen to shit that her mother says. You know what I'm saying? See that right now. Her mother doesn't know a fuck thing. You know what I'm saying? That lady is just talking shit out her ass, and she has no knowledge of what I understand that she's hurting right now, because any mother would, but she's talking shit that she has no knowledge of. You know what I'm saying? She, she doesn't know shit. She's still in denial. She's still saying that her daughter was never cheated on me. You know what I'm saying? When the proof is there and everybody knows her, it's already out there already admitted it to the media. All you got to do is go online. You know that, right? You can, you can see a picture of him online and everything. I have to, virtually, I really tried not to, um, through that depression. Yeah. You no? Know? I went through a real bad, I went through a real bad So? I can't hear you. What you say? I went through a really bad depression um, when everything occurred. So it hit me really, really hard. So I tried to, um, stay away from most of it. So that's why I said, like, when you called me now, it was like my heart hit my stomach. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I wasn't expecting it. I can hear, hear it in your voice. You sound out of breath. Um, so it, it just, you know, it, it, I'm stuttering because I, I don't even know. Like, yeah. it, it, took, it took a lot for me. It still, it still does, you know? Um, from losing my mom to losing all three, you know, I understand that a sickness death is different, but when it comes to something like this and then not knowing where they're at, like not, not having that closure part is what kills me, you know what I'm saying? And so through, through everything, like really and truthfully, I just try to stay really low key. Like I don't really associate with them, I, you know, because I need to stay strong for my family, really and truthfully, you know? You have so, one minute left. But, you know, it, it's it's more of just, I, I really feel like I just, I, I would love to have that closure. Like, I have my mom's ashes in my house, you know? I would like to have, Listen, the phone you know what I mean? Yeah, the phone I know. Hang up, and um, I just, I, I can't call you back no more, so, you know. I know. I'll, 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 I'll talk to you when I see you, man. And All right. We'll talk and shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But, um, yeah, if you want, just go online and you will see him. You'll read all his stories. You'll read everything he What was his name? Kevin Dreddin. K E V Kevin Dreden. Dreden. D R E D D E N. Gotcha. K E V I N. Kevin Dreden. Gotcha. D R E D D E N. Dreden. 
Gotcha. All right. That is the ugliest fuck. You're like a frog. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like so hard for me to believe. Yeah, I don't know, but you'll see it. You'll believe it. You'll see it. You know what I'm so, so hard to believe. Yeah. And, um, and Thank you for using Securus. Right. Goodbye. You have much longer. I need to give the jury a break. Now would be probably be a good time, Judge. You need to go ahead and take our mid-morning recess, 15 minutes. All right. Thank you. You may be seated. You may continue. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Newell, there's just a few follow-up questions um, I have for you um, after uh, listening to the, um, the phone call. Um, there was some conversation there early in the, um, in the conversation about habaneros. Mm -hmm. um, it, what is habaneros? It's a Mexican restaurant in Seminole Town Center Mall. And you used to work there? I did. And that part of the conversation, you were simply relaying that you, had, you remembered the defendant and Yesenia um, coming into the restaurant um, with, with the individual that he was talking about and his wife and a, another couple. Is that correct? Yes, I actually served them. Okay, and you actually saw them at the restaurant? I served them. Oh, you did? You yes. served their table? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, now, there was some noise in the background, and just so, so kind of everybody kind of understands, where were you at when you were having this phone conversation? With I was at my house with my children outside having a yard sale. Okay, and so that was what all the noise was in the yes. background? Yes. Okay. Um, there was a, a question that I think... Um, uh, begs asking in this particular case, um, your, your sort of tone and demeanor with the defendant, um, um, why were you so friendly with him during this phone conversation considering all that had occurred? What was the purpose of this, uh, your conversation with him? I wanted to hear his side. I wanted to see if he would open up to me because like he said before, you know, he, he talked to me, you know? Um, I was one of the few people that he talked to of her friends. So I felt, you know, let me hear what he has to say. I don't want to attack him. I want to. I want to hear him. And sometimes you just have to shut up. And that's why I was like, "Mm-hmm, yeah." I wanted to hear his side. And that's why you didn't talk a whole lot in the conversation, right. correct? And I really couldn't. He was well, pedal to the metal talking. Gotcha. Now um, I want to take you. There was a passage um, in the transcript, probably about three quarters of the way through, maybe a little bit more than halfway. Uh, where he is describing an argument that he's having with Yesenia the night that all this occurred. And, um, and he, he says to you, um, she, she basically tells him essentially to get out. And he says, um, uh, I was, yo, you're acting like a real... No rule. And, and uh, you're acting like a real, and, and it cuts off. Mm -hmm. um, and then he says, you know that she hates that word. Is it fair to say that the language that he is using is very explicit? Yes. And you heard what he said? Yes, I did. Um, and then further, as he continues, um, he says uh, that she says, well, yeah, I'm a good, and repeats the word. Is that correct? Overall. Yes. And he said, yeah, I, uh, yeah, a good blank. Overall. Yes. Again, using very explicit language? Yes. Uh, then uh, he, he goes, continues and tells you, so she said, yeah, I'm a good hole. That's why she was like, that's why I sucked blank, blank. Mm -hmm. Overrule. Is that correct? Yes. He actually used the words after that? Yes. Very explicit language? Yes. Then um, he says, yeah, I say, yeah, you sucked blank, blank, again, using very explicit language. Overrule. Yes. <clears throat> And then he says, well, you remember when you was in Alabama that Yanni, and, and is it Yanni or is it Nani? Nani. And who is Nani? Her sister. Yesenia's sister? Yes. Emily? Yes. He says, when you remember, um, you remember when you was in Alabama that Nani came over here, remember? Yeah, I say, yeah. Well, that's why blank, blank tastes like Skittles. 
Or yes. again, use very explicit language there? Yes. Nothing further, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Any cross? Just briefly, Your Honor. Ms. Newell, when you had your falling out with Yesenia, it was it lasted a couple years, correct? Yes. And during that period where you were no longer friends, that's when she was dating and ended up marrying Mr. Toledo? Yes. So the falling out had nothing to do with Mr. Toledo? No. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any redirect? All right, thank you. May the witness be excused, State? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Ma'am, you may step down. State, your next witness. At this time, the State rests, Your Honor. All right. You may have a sidebar. Um, anything from the defense? Yes, Your Honor. The defense has called Tina Williams. Now, before we do that, we may need to take up the transfer. Yes, Your Ms. Williams, please be seated. Your Honor, will we approach on a brief matter? Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Will you please tell your name to the court? Tina Williams. And Ms. Williams, where are you employed? Seminole County Transportation Service. What do you do for the Seminole County Trans Seminole County Public School System. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for the Seminole County Public School System? I drive school buses. And how long have you done that? Um, I've been about 12 years. I want to take you back to October 23rd, 2013. Do you remember that day? It's been a long time, but I'm going to try to. Was it a weekday? Yes. Were you driving a school bus that day? Yes. And what time does your school bus route begin? About 5.45 in the morning. And at some point around 6.50, 6.55, you get a break? Yes. And what do you do during that break? Well, I just take my bus to Publix and walk around. Okay, the Publix in Sanford? Yes. And that would be Seminole County, Florida? Yes. And do you meet other bus drivers there? Yes. How many of them are you? It can be between five and six of us. And what do you do there? We just walk around, like, until we just take a walk. Get some exercise? Yeah, until our next school. Okay. So on October 23rd, 2013, did you do this? Yes, we do it every day. Now, while you're walking around the, the public's parking lot, were there a lot of other cars there? Yes. Okay. What time does Publix open? Um, about 7. And what time did you get there that morning? Um, I usually get there between about 6.55, something like that. And how many times in the past have you done this routine? I do it every day. Okay, well, before October 23rd, 2013, how many times did you do it? We do, I do it every day, like Monday through Friday. And, and how long have you been driving buses for Summer County before October 23rd? 20 It'll be about, let me see, eight years probably, eight. So you've been doing this routinely for eight years? Yeah, well, since I got that route, and the route been like six years, sorry about, I've been doing that route for about six years. For about six years. Yeah. So you're familiar with the parking lot and the Publix and the other businesses that are there? Yes, sir. And um, now, do a lot of people show up there in the morning? Yeah, a lot of people show up. And are a lot of people cleaning cars? Well, sometimes they do. They clean the windows in their car sometimes, like I do my bus. And a lot of people hang out, waiting, going to Publix? Yes. And do you see a lot of Publix employees there a lot? Yes. Now, uh, specifically on October 23rd, 2013, do you recall seeing an individual cleaning a car? 
kind of a little bit. Just can't remember that far back, right? but kind of think I do. Do you remember seeing an individual cleaning a, a, a sedan that was parked facing 1792? No. Do you recall an individual that was cleaning a car and then got out and cleaned the outside of a car? I just figured the windows like normal, no out like outside of the car. I Someone can't cleaning. I'm sorry. I can't so, remember call, seeing anybody clean the outside of the car. But you saw someone clean windows? Yeah, probably do. It's like a normal thing. And this car, was it facing 1792? I can't recall was it facing 1792. Do you recall if this individual that you saw cleaning this car was a black male, a white male, or a Hispanic male? I can't recall. Do you recall if it was even a male? Well, I could say, I'm not for sure. I, I, I'm not for sure. I can't Well, this individual that. that was cleaning the car, um, what was he wearing? Um, pretty, I'm, and I, I don't know, I think maybe white, maybe a cream, I'm not for sure, 100%. Maybe oh. cream or white shirt, I'm sorry. A cream or white shirt? Probably, yeah. Do you recall if it was long sleeve or short sleeve? No. Anything else about this individual that surprised you that morning? No. Do you recall seeing an, um, a, a truck come up and park near this vehicle? Can I kind of kind of clarify that truck? When I say truck, it's like, I am not something like that, but it's like, I guess when it says, you know how the, I don't know, it's not like a truck. Not like a pickup truck? No. But was it be like an SUV? SUV? <laughs> no, it's like, I guess when, like, when people do like yard, lot, yard, yard service, but it ain't something like that. I guess I don't know how to say it. But when I issue you, I guess I don't know how to say it. Do you recall giving an interview to the police about what you observed on October 23rd, 2013? I remember the interview that, yeah. Is that a yes? Yes. And um, that interview with the police occurred on October 25th, 2013. You recall that? I don't remember the day. I'm not going to lie. I can't recall the day of. Did it occur at the same location in the public's parking lot? Yes. And it was an investigator lead from the Volusia County Sheriff's Office. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, that kind of, yes. Let's and he, he interviewed on, you on what you saw two days prior? Yes, I guess. Yeah. You remember telling him that you saw someone cleaning a car, but you don't recall what color car that was? Yeah, I can't recall what kind of car it was. No, no color either. And you also remember telling this investigator that it was a male wearing a white or cream color shirt cleaning the car? Yeah, I just, yes. Is that a yes? Yes. But you also couldn't say whether or not this was a white male, black male, or Hispanic male? No. This individual that was cleaning a car, did this individual scare you at all? Mm, not, not, not really. I don't know. I don't know. This individual never said anything to you? No. Do you remember telling Investigator Lee that you were scared by this individual? Oh, I can't recall. No, I just, no. When you saw this individual clean a car, you were with other school bus employees? Yes, sir. And you guys kept, you continued your, your exercise that morning? Yes, sir. And did you see this vehicle, um, or did you see this individual leave the Sanford Publix parking lot? No, I can't recall, no. Nothing further, Your Honor. Okay, cross-examination. Briefly, Judge. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. This happened about four years ago, is that right? This event? Yes. Okay, and would you agree with me that it happened pretty quickly and it probably wasn't even significant until the police came and talked to you the next day? I must agree with that, yes. You, you will agree with that? Yes. Okay. Now, would you also, do you know what kind of case this is? You know what the trial's about? Well, yeah, kind of, a little bit, yeah. Okay. You know it's a triple murder case? 
I know the Trevor Murrah case, but yeah, I know the Murrah case. Would you agree with me that that when you testify in a case like this, that details matter? Yes, I guess. You you would, right? I mean, if the jury's here, they're relying on on details and and what the witnesses say, and the details do matter in these kinds of cases. Mm -hmm. Okay. And correct me if I'm wrong, and and I don't mean to be rude, but correct me if I'm wrong. This morning you've come here and you've said that you don't remember the vehicle. Is that correct? Correct. That you don't you don't remember or never knew the racial makeup of the person you're talking about. Correct. Um, you can't tell us what kind of vehicle it was, right? Correct. Um, that um, you weren't even really sure if it was a man until Mr. Nappy asked you about the statement you gave to the police four years ago. Is that right? That's correct. Um, that there was a, a truck parked near this vehicle and it was like a yard service truck? Yes, where they come every day, like yard service trucks, someone come in and out, yeah. Now, you've also seen people over the years cleaning their, their cars in the parking lot, isn't that right? Right. Okay, and so this really wasn't an event to you, was it? Yeah. Oh. And in fact, when you talked to the investigator the next day, and even during your deposition a year and a half later, you said four times that you thought the guy was a public employee, didn't you? Correct. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Any redirect? Yes, Judge. Ms. Williams, uh, I agree that details do matter. The one detail that you're consistent on that it was an individual wearing a white or cream colored shirt cleaning that car, isn't it? That, isn't that true? Yeah, that's true. And you told that to the investigator two days after you saw this individual cleaning a car? Yes, because public workers, they have white shirts on. We see it every day. I see it all the time. And then you also told me in the deposition that we had in 2016 that the individual you saw cleaning a car was wearing a white or cream colored shirt. Correct. I, can't, I guess, yes. Is that true? Yes. No further questions. Thank you. Any re? I'm sorry, just another question. This all occurred between 6.50 and 7 o'clock a.m. on October 23rd, 2013? Well, that's when I used that coming to my bus at that time. And when you got there and you were at your bus and you started walking around, how long were you walking around before you noticed this individual cleaning the car? Um, actually, not when I was started walking. I mean, when you pull up, you see stuff when you pull up around the corner. So, so this yeah. individual you saw cleaning the car was right there when you pulled up in your bus again? Yeah, when we were walking. While you were walking? Mm-hmm. No further questions. All right, anything else? Yes, sir. All right, may the witness be excused. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You're free to go. Next witness. The defense will call Sergeant Kurt Sheps. Okay, for the record, the witness has testified before, still under oath. And he was... uh, Sworn in earlier. I see. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Please say your name. Uh, Sergeant Kurt Sheps. Okay. Sergeant, you're still employed with the Volusia County Sheriff's Office? I am. All right. Um, you were sitting in the interview with Mr. Toledo on October 23rd, 2013, and October 24th, 2013? That's correct. Um, and you were there for the entire interview on October 24th, 2013, right? That's correct. Um, and that interview was the interview that we watched in here a couple of days ago on that screen being recorded, correct? It wasn't with me. Okay, but you know that we watched it, correct? Uh, I believe with uh, Investigator Pagulari. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, so you were in that interview room. It's kind of a small interview room. You, um, Sergeant Pagulari, and Mr. Toledo. That's correct. Um, now, do you recall when Mr. Toledo was telling you events that happened about bags with stuffed animals in it? Uh, Slightly. Slightly. Would looking at a transcript of that interview refresh your recollection? Sure. 
Judge, may I approach the witness? You may. <clears throat> Sergeant, if you could read lines 26 through 36 on page 104 and tell me uh, uh, no, no, read it to yourself. Read it to yourself. Oh, okay. Okay. Has that, has reading those lines refresh your recollection? For this? For this. Um, somewhat. Uh, you want to read it again? Yeah, I know. Please, let's be very clear. I want to ask you what it was typed out on line 26 through 36 on page 126. Please reread that again to see if it refreshes your recollection. Okay. This occurred during the conversation where Mr. Toledo was telling you that he put items in a dumpster. Correct. And um, he also said that he had some old bags in his trunk with a bunch of old stuffed animals in it, and he put those in the dumpster. Correct. He said that these items, was, these stuffed animals were supposed to go to a donation box. Correct. Um, do you recall in any of his interviews whether or not he mentioned these stuffed animals again at any time? I don't recall. So you have no reason to doubt the veracity of these statements with regards to the stuffed animals being in a bag going to a donation box. Did he give any story that was inconsistent with this phrase at any other time during his interviews? About stuffed animals? Yes. To me, I, not that I'm aware of. No further questions. All right, thank you. Any uh, cross? All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. You may step down. Can the witness be excused? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? State? No, it's fine, Your Honor. You can be excused. Okay, thank you. This next witness? Judge, we have Folks, what I'm going to do is we're going to take an early lunch break uh, from 11.30 and resume at 1 o'clock. That way it just keeps the flow of the uh, case going a little, a little more uh, consistently. Uh, while you're leaving, council remain in session. Uh, we have a few things to address. I think you may be seated. Mr. Toledo, I'd like to have a discussion with you before we go any further. Uh, we're getting very close to the stage of the proceedings where um, things are wrapping up, and I wanted to remind you that you do, have, you do have a right, and that is a right to testify. You also have the right to remain silent. You don't have to say anything at all, or you can take the stand. I want to express to you that the right belongs to you. It does not belong to your attorneys. It doesn't belong to the state or it doesn't belong to the court. If you choose to exercise that right, you need to let me know that you want to testify. If you choose that you don't want to testify, then let me know that you don't want to testify. If you don't testify, I will tell the jury that they can't use your silence against you. That's one of your constitutional rights. I explained that to them in the very beginning of the trial and I would explain it to them in my jury instructions at the end of the trial that they can't use your silence against you. Um, I'm hoping that you had an opportunity to discuss the decision with your attorneys and that you're satisfied with whatever advice they, they have provided to you, but I do want to remind you that's just advice to you. At the end of the day, you make the decision whether or not you want to be a witness or you choose not to be a witness in this case. Have you had the opportunity to discuss the matter with your lawyers? You want to, you you don't want to testify. Is that correct? All right. Thank you. But you do understand you do have a right to testify. All right. Thank you. You made that decision freely and voluntarily. Does anybody threaten you or force you or coerce you to making that decision? Did anybody promise you anything for making that decision? 
All right, I'm satisfied that your uh, decision is knowingly and intelligently made, and we'll respect that. All right, we will be in recess for lunch until 1 o'clock. Thank you. Judge, are we going to do the argument at 1? Um, well, how long do you think it would take? About a half hour? You want to do it at the end of the day? We'll just do it at the end of the day when we let the jury go home, okay? All right.